hi guys welcome to this channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to correctly detail reinforced concrete staircase a staircase is an essential structural element that is used to move from one part of a building to another usually from levels to levels staircase can be constructed using different construction materials we have the one constructed from timber we have steel the most common one is the reinforced concrete. To we structural engineers, staircase is seen as a slab, but in this case, a slanted slab. So that is why all the design principles of slab also applies to a staircase. We have different type of staircase depending on the structural and the aesthetic need. We have the double legged staircase straight flight, quarter turn, half turn, spiral, helica, freestanding, etc. The detailing of all of them is almost the same. You just have to note one or two principles in order to correctly detail staircase. And most of the staircase are detailed the same way, except for few of them, depending on the support mechanism. Before we continue in this video, I want to use this medium to appreciate all of you that have subscribed to our channel. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much for doing so. And I'm sure you're also learning one or two things from this channel as well. If you're a new viewer or you've been coming to this channel and you've not been subscribing, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification if you like any of our videos. First thing to understand in staircase detailing is the support system. So this staircase is supported by two main beams. We have a beam in the aft landing area. The staircase started from here. So this is the stair area. And then we have the aft landing here. This aft landing is supported by beam, which is also supported by this two column here. Then from the aft landing, the staircase start again into the second flight and then arrive at the full landing here this area is always the floor area so this beam is going to be a floor beam this also supporting the staircase so the staircase is also supported from the ground then to come to the section we have to section the first flight we started from here so this flight as shows the foundation of the staircase and then you have the vertical members of the staircase, which is the riser. And you also have the horizontal member, which is the tread. The tread is at its, has a length of 275. The second flight, the same thing. It started from the aft landing. Then you have the staircase area. Then you have this intermediary support. And then you have this cantilever moment of part of the staircase. The detailing of the staircase is going to go like this, just like the way what you are seeing on your screen. So in order to understand the detailing, let us look at the plan part of it. We have the plan section and we have the lotuna section of the staircase. So this is the staircase looking at it from the plan. Most of the shape of the reinforcement cannot be depicted looking at it from the plan, but you can understand it just from the plan the first the first reinforcement is this reinforcement that has a donut at the start this is referred to as the starter bar it is the reinforcement that comes from the foundation and extends into the staircase usually it extends by about one third on getting to the staircase area this is this reinforcement is usually a top reinforcement then you have a reinforcement which is usually the main reinforcement that extends from the staircase area into the landing onto the support of the aft landing. Whenever you have a connection between landing and staircase area, there must always be a connecting reinforcement. And this reinforcement is this reinforcement. So it connects the stair area with the landing area. The length is usually twice the lapping length or the lapping length. It extends into this by about the lapping length. It also extends into this by about the lapping length. 
Then the last reinforcement, which is also one of the main reinforcement, is the one that extends from the edge of the support, covers the landing area and into the staircase area. But it can only extend into the staircase area by about one third of it. So that is why this staircase ends here. Usually it is the bottom reinforcement in the landing area, but when it gets to the staircase area, it becomes a top reinforcement. You are going to see that a little more in this section. Based on the principle of the first flight, of explaining the first flight, you can apply the same thing to the second flight. You must always have a reinforcement that starts from the end of the support and extend all over the whole length of the staircase, including the landing. So which is this reinforcement? This reinforcement here is the same thing as this one here. It's not the same thing in the sense, but they are serving the same purpose, I mean. It starts from the edge of the support and run across the whole length of the staircase, including the landing. But the only thing about this reinforcement is whenever it changes from landing to support, it has to change position. So if it is a top reinforcement in the landing, when it gets to the staircase area, it becomes a bottom reinforcement. You are going to see that in a minute. Then you have this reinforcement that serves as a connection between staircase area and landing area. So that is the purpose of this one. Then we have the last one, this one that extends from the end of the support extending to the staircase area and stop about one third. So the same thing applies to this region too. You have this one that connects the staircase and the landing area. Then you have the one that starts from the staircase, landing area and extend into the staircase by about one third. Then you also have this one. The last reinforcement is the distribution reinforcement, which is this reinforcement here. It distributes the reinforcement along the staircase area. You can see from here to here, you can see the bar mark. Usually, is a bot bottom and top reinforcement. The reason why it's bottom and top is because it distributes both the top reinforcement and also the bottom reinforcement. And if you notice closely, the nomenclature of this reinforcement is very similar to that of a slab. The first element is the number, which in this case is 28. The next one is the bar type. The next one is the diameter of reinforcement. The next one is O1. Then we have 150. This O1 is the bar mark. This 150 is the spacing of the reinforcement. Then the one in bracket BT is the position of the reinforcement. For distribution bar, it has to be bottom and top. Because we want, we don't want to be repeating the same reinforcement when it is the same thing, the same length for the top and bottom. So the cross section of the first reinforcement is going to go this way. The first element is the starter bar. The starter bar will take the shape of the foundation. So that is why it is shown with a donut at the end, just to show that it is attached to the ground. So the shape can only be seen in this section. Then we have the next reinforcement that is the main reinforcement that extends over the whole length of the staircase. So this is the reinforcement because this part is the foundation. So that's why it does not enter into the foundation. To extend like this, you can see here that this reinforcement is a bottom reinforcement in the staircase area. The bar mark is it. On getting to the landing area, it becomes a top. So you can see that bar mark it. This reinforcement, this is it. The next reinforcement is the reinforcement that comes from the end of the support, cover the whole length of the landing area, extend into the staircase area by about one third. This reinforcement starts from the, as a bottom reinforcement in the landing area, which is by mark 12 in this case. Then on getting to the staircase area, it becomes a top reinforcement, which is this. I hope you get. So you can see by mark 12, by mark 12. Then the last reinforcement that acts as a support or as a connection joint between the landing area and the staircase area, which is this reinforcement, is very difficult to see if this drawing is in 2D, but you can look at it using the bar mark. The bar mark is bar mark 11. This is the reinforcement is bar mark 11. So this is bar mark 11. It started from here goes like this, goes like this. See, bar mark 11, bar mark 11. So you can see that you can, you might be thinking, what is the purpose of this reinforcement anyway? 
like I mentioned, the purpose is just to serve as a, the technical purpose is to cover this space. You know, when this reinforcement goes like this and extend into the top, change to top, we have this one. This one also goes like this and become a top reinforcement. There is going to be a space that is being left between these two reinforcements at the top here. So the purpose of that reinforcement is to cover that space. I hope you get. And it's extend by lap length, extend by lap length. So the same principle can be applied to the second flight. So you have a reinforcement that extends all over the whole length. The, in this case, is bar mark 6, which is this reinforcement. Bar mark 6 extends all over the whole length of the staircase. So here is a bottom reinforcement. You can see the bar mark is 6. On getting here, it becomes a top reinforcement. Then on getting to the full landing area here, it also becomes a top reinforcement. So it is top here, bottom here, top here. So the same thing applies to the staircase that start from the edge of the support and extend into the staircase by one third is this. You can see bar mark is bar mark 9, it's also bar mark 9. The same principle applies. So to cover the space left by this reinforcement and this reinforcement, then you have to provide this one. So that is how to do the detailing. Then finally, let me discuss about this. This reinforcement extends from the top here and becomes a extend from the bottom here, sorry, by mark 04 and becomes a top reinforcement. Then we also have another reinforcement which is by mark 05, 05. This 05 start serve as a connection between this staircase area and the landing area. So this is how you can possibly detail staircase a reinforced concrete staircase. I hope you like this video. If you do, kindly hit the like button. You can even subscribe if you've not subscribed. You can share this video with your friends so that they can also learn from it. If you are someone that is interested in learning structural design, which can include manual design and also design with softwares, you can check out our website, chefgenacademy.com. On this website, you learn a lot about structural design manual design, using softwares for design, structural detailing, etc. But before you go, if you want to learn about detailing of reinforced concrete slab and also how to read slab detailing with bar bending schedule, then you should watch this video. See you next time.